All right, what is up everybody? Let's jump back in with this green white enchantments deck. Unfortunately, we did not do super well the first time around, uh, only getting one win out of three games. So I'm hoping for a little bit of a better showing this time around. Uh, I do think this deck is fun. I don't think it's great. Uh, don't think it's tier one necessarily. There may be a world where it could be uh, significantly improved, uh, but unfortunately I don't think this list in particular is very good. So. It does, uh, I mean, it has the potential to go very far over the top, which is, like, awesome. Uh, but obviously that's not going to be the case over uh, the course of a number of games. That being said, this is a fairly strong starting hand. Uh, turn 1 Ginger Brute into turn 2 Paradise Druid is going to be pretty solid, I think. Uh, so we'll keep this and see what we get. Uh, we just struggle very heavily uh, against, in particular, go-wide decks uh, where they... Um, can just, you know, spread out the board with a ton of creatures because we are so focused on, like, one or two creatures. Uh, and so it just becomes a very difficult matchup for us. Uh, interesting, we're up against Bant here. Uh, let's pay two and Paradise Druid. Uh, so we do have our Hexproofer down. We also have the Sentinel's Eyes in hand, uh, which does mean that Paradise Druid is going to continue to have Hexproof, which is awesome. Uh, so if we draw a White Source next turn... Uh, we're in amazing shape. If we draw even a green source, we're actually in very good shape. Unfortunately, we don't here. I think, honestly, um, I think we take this while we can. So let's throw this on there. Uh, and we will attack with both. Uh, the, the more value play, I suppose, would have been to get Season of Growth down first, uh, and then follow it up next turn with, uh, with some extra stuff. I, I think I'd rather get it down now so we can start getting in the damage. They're obviously gaining a lot with Uro here. Uh, and so let's get that started and then we can hopefully uh, see what we get some good stuff next turn, hopefully. Yep. Wow. Three Uros. That's pretty awesome. You got it. Yep. Definitely getting a lot of land out. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. Perfect. Okay, so here, let's Season of Growth. Uh, and then let's go ahead and just swing in. Um, next turn, we have the potential to really, really go off. Uh, there was, you know, obviously an argument to be said for uh, throwing some stuff on the Paradise Druid here. I'm leaving up Karametra's Blessing on really either of these, uh, if need be. It's probably not going to do much. They can't target this anyway, uh, so maybe that's incorrect, but we'll we'll try it out. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that gets us. We do have the follow-up Paradise Druid, which is nice. So let's get that out there. We'll throw the third on the bottom. We'll go ahead and put Sentinel's Eyes on it. Exiling those two. Drawing a card. Good that we drew a creature there uh, in case for whatever reason they've got another time wipe. Woo! Kiora best the Sea God. Yeah, certainly a good one. Uh, so we don't... Okay. Well, let's throw the Satessan training on here. That helps. We need a land. Oh, perfect. There we go. So let's throw this on here. Draw a couple cards. Most likely, I mean, they're going to tap this down, which is going to be bad. That just means they can take it. Uh, Cure Best Sea God, man. Very, very powerful. We do have this that could come in handy next turn, so we do need to remember to leave up a uh, blue mana. Or, excuse me, a white mana. Swung out for eight. Oof. Yep. We're going to play Castle Arden Vale here. Let's go ahead and put this out. 
This works very similarly, so don't think we need that. I kind of just need to critical mass some creatures here that are not necessarily amazing for them to steal. Uh, don't think we need that. And then let's pass here. So with these on the field, I don't know if they're actually going to go for this or not, but we'll see. Yep. They're the safe, I mean, they should just pick one of these, but we can obviously sack the other to not get it. That seems bad, though. I think we just let them have it, and then we just block. So we don't have to sacrifice. Let's do this. We also get to draw the card. All right. Now let's see what they got. I mean, obviously, they're just going to swing in. That's a lot of damage coming our way. Oh, man. I was really kind of hoping they would attack with that. Um, this does has trample. Whoops. So, the question becomes, can we deal them enough damage? And they're gaining life off of this. Yep. Surprisingly a much closer game than we have been having with this deck, though, I will say. Yeah. All right. I mean, step one, we have to all the glitters here. Let's do it again. Not really what we were hoping to find. Let's do... So they're going to save themselves 4 damage. So that puts them down to 14, 15, 16. I think we can get them down to 1. <laughs> uh, so let's do it. What have they got? Yeah. Okay, well... Let's see what they've got. We gotta leave up mana uh, for both the blessing and the life's bounty here. Um, we cannot afford to take a ton of damage, so we've gotta keep this around as best we can. Good card, but not gonna do it. Yep, they do gain the life, that's fine. So, let's block here. We'll take six. That's fine. Are we going to do it? Gain another life. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, we actually won. That was looking kind of sketchy uh, with that cure best the sea god, but we did get there with that. Uh, very, very close game. Well played by the opponents. So, let's see if we can get at least one more win with this. Uh, I am very, very interested in this deck. I've seen a lot of it around. So I just wanna see if there's like different variations or something like that that we can try uh, that would make this archetype really, really special. So we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm a little interested though. I, I do think that there's some worthwhile stuff here. And I think we keep this. We would love a Sentinel's Eyes. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have one, but uh, we do have the Paradise Druid, which is awesome. And a follow-up Paradise Druid. Okay. Let's get this out there. Uh, I'm thinking a land would be the best thing we could draw. Is that correct? Probably. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Not a land, but... 
Let's go ahead and do this. <coughs> Excuse me. If we can get a land, perfect. Okay. Uh, enters tabs. We'll go ahead and pass. Uh, we do not want to tap the Paradise Druid for essentially anything if we can help it. Yep, that's fine. Obviously going to take a big hit here, but uh, that's fine. Starfield Mystic. Uh, not what we want. So let's go ahead and throw this out there. And we'll pass. <clears throat> We're going to, again, take a hit here, but that's okay. As long as we don't die, that's fine. Um, ooh, good one. They're going to fight that, so we can Karametra's Blessing that. That does save it, so let's do that. Take four, untap. Land is great, okay. Uh, we're gonna Starfield Mystic first, uh, solely because so far, this is really the only play that we've got, so let's save the mana on it. Okay. Nope. Okay. Um, no attacks still. Huh. So... We've got some big flyboys, which is awesome, but what can we truly do with it is the question. They've got to have something here. Seven. I'm going to try and take out the Paradise Druid here. Mitigate threats. It's not a huge one, but it's obviously one we can get rid of, so let's try it. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah, well, that gets us. Did not expect to see uh, Insatiable Appetite, so wow, well played by the opponent. Fair enough. Uh, that was a quick game. Uh, both very aggressive decks. Unfortunately, they just had a more aggressive draw, so uh, we'll run it through one more game, and we'll see what we get. Um, see if we can get that second win. Uh, we're the first time we get three wins in a row is going to be amazing. It probably will never happen, but I'm very excited for the possibility. We'll say, uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Get the life bounty out. <coughs> okay, perfect. Get this down. We'll go and swing. Next turn, we can Sentinel's Eyes and Satessin Training, I believe, so we should be in pretty good shape. <clears throat> All right. See what they got. Uh, what would we like to get? Probably just another land so we can Satessin Champion and Life's Bounty. Uh, but we'll certainly see. They do not attack with both. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. We do have Trample, so like, as long as we, yeah. All right, so we'll just all the glitters here. <clears throat> and go ahead. See what they got. Just going to take it. Okay. Well, pass turn. 
they're gonna have to do a good bit here. I mean, if they get rid of the Paradise Druid, they're fine. But uh, I don't think they've got a ton of ways to do that, considering it has Hexproof. And they're not going to run Sweepers in a deck like this, I would assume. So uh, Copycat comp or not Copycat, uh, Cauldron Familiar combo, though, for sure. With no Cauldron Familiar. What you going to do? I guess that was technically wrong to do, but it doesn't really matter that much, I don't think. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. So. I think that's not amazing, right? What do we get through? Three, four, five, six. So we still get two damage through. I'm actually gonna go for this. They can triple block here. Um, but they, are, they have no mana left. This would get them down to uh, three. And we have a follow-up Paradise Druid. Uh, and the Sentinel's Eyes, because it goes to the graveyard, just means that we can play it back again. Um, thanks to its escape mechanic. Excuse me, double block here. Uh, but if they do this, they go down to two. Okay. I'm going to order it this way. So, <laughs> did they just kill themselves? They totally did. I did not realize. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, we won it. Uh, so that was a very quick game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this deck. Uh, we did get that 2-1 at the very least, so that's a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I had a fun match. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this, though. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Also... Uh, Patreon rewards, there there are literally only a few days left uh, to get the Patreon rewards, the proxies that are uh, cycling through on this layout. Make sure if you would like to sign up, you go to the link at the very bottom. Uh, you can sign up there. Uh, there are multiple tiers, so you can read and choose whatever best fits your, uh, your wants or how much you would like to support us. So thank you guys so much for watching, though. We really do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next gameplay video.